the 2000 win, it was, it was a good feeling, you know, to, to get in a, a class like that with the three other drivers and really enjoyed it even on a wet night. Oh, my career has been, uh, it's been great to me. I've had a lot of good horses to drive and done a lot of travelling and really enjoyed everything that I've done, you know. As they say, uh, I've only had one job all my life, so it must have been good to me. Of the 2000 wins, it's very hard to single out a, a standout victory. I've been lucky enough to have so many of them, so I'm happy with everyone really. Highlights of my career um, would have to be El Su with an Inter Dominion Grand Final, a Hunter Cup, changeover, getting a New Zealand Cup for me, and a fair few uh, Group 1 races with some really nice horses. The lovely Laura Ella, Smooth Performer. The list goes on, and I don't want to forget anybody, so we'll stop there. Oh yeah, he is a bit of a legend. Uh, he's, he's been around a long time. <laughs> he's got the 2000, but it's a good effort. I think there's only four other people to do it, so um, uh, hopefully maybe one day I can get there. Make racing better in New Zealand, let the drivers drive and make it very competitive. Standing starts, I don't mind them at all. I uh, definitely think they should still stay in New Zealand, especially for a New Zealand Cup. Uh, the more racing at Cambridge, I'm a big believer in it. I think uh, it rates for better first quarters. It's closer to the public, and I'm a mild fan when it comes down to Jules racing. Interest outside of racing, I'd have to say taking the wife to a winery and having a few wines. Knocking at 50, career ambitions are just to keep driving well and enjoying it for as long as I can and just be happy in what I do.